Hey friends, today we are checking in to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and we're gonna be doing something I've always wanted to do. We're gonna have a cookout at the Grand Floridian. I'm so excited. I plan on giving you a full resort tour, show you my room, and then we're gonna cook out on the grill, maybe rent a boat and go explore around Bay Lake and just have a beautiful Grand Floridian kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I have cooked out at a lot of different Disney resorts. I've cooked out at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, at the Treehouse Villas, but I never cooked out here at Disney's Grand Floridian, and I have always thought it would be a cool thing to have a cookout at the Grand Floridian. Even saying it, a cookout at the Grand Flow just sounds so fancy. And any Disney Vacation Club resort actually has grills that you can use, so all you have to do is just look for them. I was browsing around the DVC rental store site looking at the guaranteed available reservations and I found a super cheap rate here at the villas at Disney's Grand Floridian. So I reached out to the world of DVC, we set everything up, a bada bing, a bada boom, we're gonna have a cookout and I love that. We're going to actually start the resort tour now. I got my room number already, but I wanted to show you the grilling area. This is right outside the villa's building itself. The villa's building's right there. They have some nice furniture, two grills. It's first come, first serve. They have utensils on the inside that you can actually go get. And it's just very nice. It's very clean. I love it. I love it. I think it's going to be so fun. They even have a basketball court right next door, too. But that's gonna be a little bit later on. Right now, I wanna head up to the room, get checked in, show you the room, and uh, kinda just unwind a little bit. The last time I stayed here at the Grand Floridian, I stayed over in the Mary Poppins themed rooms, which is over on that side of the resort. Over here is where the villas are, and these rooms are much bigger and they have a lot more amenities to them. You know what I mean? They have like the full kitchens and everything like that. That's a new style of room, so I'm excited to show you guys everything that you get inside the room at one of the villas. If you guys are looking into staying at a Disney resort, whether it be a full vacation or just a staycation like one single day, I highly encourage you to look into renting DVC points through the DVC rental store. I've always thought I could never afford to stay here and you'd be shocked at how cheap some of the room uh, rates are. Like I was looking at Animal Kingdom Lodge the other day, it was $130 a night. That is so crazy. When I wanted to book the Grand Floridian here, it was $300. I always thought it was thousands of dollars and right now, I think on that site because I usually check every day they have a Boulder Ridge coming up in the next two weeks at Disney's Wilderness Lodge for only $260 and I was really thinking about booking it but I highly suggest it I have all of their links in my description so you guys can check it out it is definitely worth it it can save you thousands of dollars trust me trust me <laughs> Let's head on up to our room so I can give you guys the room tour and soak up the AC because it is incredibly hot outside. And I love coming in the Villas building. I like they have this nice little uh, penguin fountain right here. I always point it out and I also just like looking straight up once you get in here. Look at that. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? We're staying in a deluxe studio and we are on the third floor and once I got off the elevator it reminded me of the time that I uh, was accidentally walking around the Grand Floridian in my Grand Floridian bathrobe. You guys remember that? I don't know if you've seen that video or not but it was hysterical. I just absolutely love the Victorian style charm the Grand Floridian offers. It is so nice in here. I like everything. I like the headboard because it has these curved sides to it. I don't even know why. I just like it. They have some Mary Poppins artwork over here and the Happiest Millionaire. The bed looks nice. Even underneath the bed. No space to lay down. But they got you covered because there are dresser drawers in the bottom of the bed which is so funny, just can't sleep under there. But that's okay because they have plenty of other places to sleep. You have the day bed over here, you got the couch, and then you also have another pullout bed I think right here as well. I'm pretty sure this is. Oh yeah, we'll get to all that, we'll, we'll get to that. And then over here, once we walk in, we have the nice little kitchen area, got the microwave, a Keurig, no Mr. Coffee here, but I don't see any French vanilla creamer. No, nope, no French vanilla cream bar. Is this a double fridge? Look at this, it's got a freezer. I don't think I've ever seen a freezer in a room. 
hey, where's the Bud Light? <laughs> but I've never seen a freezer in any of the rooms before. That is so crazy. This is nice. Wait, what's over here? Oh, oh, well, very fancy. There's the bathrobes. There they are, the Grand Floridian bathrobes. Very nice closet here. Got some backup laundry detergent. That is definitely coming home with me. I'm taking that. Also, I have to say a big RIP to the H2O products. It's gonna be so sad to see them go. That's actually H2O laundry detergent. I'm gonna like keep that forever. I mean, it's gonna be something I could probably sell on eBay for a lot of money in the future. They have two bathrooms here. You've got the traditional tubby tub, nice little tub here with the uh, commode and uh, got some more H2O products. They're locked up though, that's the only bad thing. And it's split because then on this side, you got the sink and then you got the stand-up shower. Look at this, this looks really good. I like this, I wouldn't mind taking a shower. It's got the fancy shower head that makes it look like it's raining. Got some more H2O there, yeah. I like it a lot in here. Also, I didn't have a Mary Poppins shirt, so I wore my Remy's Ratatouille shirt, and I like it. I think it fits the Grand Floridian perfectly. It also comes with a microwave oven too, look at that. Some fancy plates, oh no, not fancy plates, paper plates. I thought they used to have fancy plates. I guess they changed things up a little bit. Cutbacks. Now let's get back to those sleeping arrangements. First, let's pull down this day bed. I don't know if you'll leave these tables here or not. I don't know. I tell you, it's really hard to pull these down with one hand, but let's see. Oh, oh, it's coming down fast. Nope, it's not, it stopped. There's a safety there. Okay, good, good. Look at that, kind of folds up there. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. That is such a nice, mural a mary poppins mural and you got like an extra bed here so you got two beds right here and plenty of space and then over here you've got another bed that i was going to show you before but bada boom oh it's a sleeping dumbo i love it sweet dreams so where would you guys want to sleep very nice very comfortable i like it Four pillows, that's a plus. I like this one too, it's very nice, very comfy. I like the Mary Poppins mural. Okay, but it's pretty obvious the winner's gotta be the Dumbo. The Sleeping Baby Dumbo. You can't go, you can't go wrong with this at all. I actually wanna take a nap right now. But now, let's take a look at the balcony. And this is one of the most important parts of a resort for me personally. I love balconies, I love views, I love coffee and sunsets. So it definitely ranks up there high on uh, whether or not I think a resort is worth it or not. One of the things I love about this balcony here at the Grand Floridian is you can hear that nice like Grand Floridian music as you sit out here. It is so nice, look at this. I love it, so peaceful. And then you got the Polynesian over there. You got the Grand Floridian Wedding Chapel right there. You can see the ferry boats going back and forth. The Contemporary, this is a good view. I like it a lot. The furniture is not too bad either. Look at this, that's solid metal right there. No plastic stuff. We don't need that, it's the Grand Floridian here. I say this all the time, but I can spend hours sitting on a balcony at a Disney resort. But we have a lot we want to do today. Like I said, maybe rent a boat. Definitely going to do a little cookout. And uh, in fact, we need to get groceries. We need to, we need to get some groceries delivered to us. In fact, I think we're actually going to have our groceries delivered. Oop, and I think we had a knock on the door. Looks like it's here. Wow. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, so thank you. This is some very nice room service. You got some, you just got some wieners there. Some, <laughs> some watermelon. Hello. Some water, some chips. Look at this. Snacks. Some watermelon. snacks. Watermelon. watermelon. Some, burger. some burgers. Some chips. Oh my lord. We have a Labor Day cookout here at the Grand Flow. I like it. <laughs> I Sean's telling me he can get underneath this bed here. <laughs> I can't get under. Look at him. I'm too tall. It's as far as I can get. <laughs> That's as far as your feet go My down. Feet are hitting the wall. 
this is what you get for being 6'9". Are you 6'9"? How tall are you? 6'5". 6'5", okay. 6'9", I don't even think my legs would fit in. This is hysterical. This is, this is literally as far as I can get down on the bed. This is when you know your friends watch your videos, when they try to get underneath the bed. <laughs> here is a quick look at the map of the resort. We are staying here at the villas. Over here is the main building, and then Big Pine Key is the other Disney Vacation Club building. Those are where the Mary Poppins themed rooms are. It is pretty massive. It's better to stay over here because you're close to everything else, but the rooms over here, like I said, I just think they're much more accommodating and they have a lot more amenities. Now that we got our groceries, uh, compliments to Sean for the delivery, uh, we're gonna go explore around the resort a little bit and then start cooking out. We're gonna have a little cookout. Maybe check out the boat. Like I said, I don't know. I just like kind of going boating. I feel like Labor Day, cookout, boat, you know. We'll see if it's possible. Maybe it's not in our cards. We embarked on going around and exploring the resort and we came across some cornhole they have set up here. It's actually Labor Day, so it fits perfectly, you know? Oh, Shark Fest too. Looks like they got some Nat Geo Shark Fest cornhole. I wonder if I can get one in on the first shot. Let's see. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna retake this. We're just gonna go for it. One hand it. Yep. We'll give it a go. Habada hoo! No. Cornhole has never been my game, but if we're gonna be outside grilling or maybe going on a boat, I think I should swing into the Grand Floridian and grab some sunblock. I have some sunblock that uh, the Second Star Collective actually sent me, so she is so awesome. Thank you, Shannon. But I forgot it at home, and uh, yeah, I, it's very hot, and I will get very burned today. So let's go see if they have any. Hopefully they do. I had to stop into the main lobby and just soak up the AC a little bit listen to the piano. It's so nice in here, so calming. I'm hoping that we could actually rent a boat. I don't know what time they stop renting out the boats, but Sean's already dressed up like a captain. So <laughs> I, I was like, I was like, Sean, where's your captain hat? I let him borrow mine. Sean's ready. I'll have to switch on and off. Yep. <laughs> It looks like they do sell sunblock here at the uh, Sandy Cove. So I got the uh, good old Sport 50 4-in-1 performance. So we're gonna give it a, close my eyes. Oh wait, I gotta take my glasses off. I learned better, because then it's almost impossible to clean your glasses, but. I don't know if they opened up the boat renting back yet again I don't, like, I don't know if it's available but we're gonna see but i'd love to take out one of these little pontoon boats just go explore around bay lake or seven seas lagoon technically looks like we're in luck and the boats are available so we're gonna rent out a boat just for a little bit and uh head out on the high seas right here at the grand floridian captain shipyard they've got the firework cruises they got the guided bass fishing and then the boat renting it's 45 dollars for 30 minutes but you get 10 guests in there so you have 10 people you know that's definitely worth the same thing that goes with the firework cruise if you have 10 people that want to split a firework cruise for 400 dollars it's only 40 dollars let's go captain it's, it's time hot. to go boating shut off the disney wish yeah <laughs> I learned how to drive that baby. What, you learned how to drive the Disney Wish? Yep. Wow, Thanks these are big boats though. These are bigger than the ones over at the Contemporary, I feel like. We are now on the boat and my friend Haley from Diz Cupcake actually just was walking by and her friend Taylor. So uh, we were like, hey, come on the boat. I mean, it was just me and Sean, so now we got more friends. Are you ready, Captain? Yes, are we good, Jill? Are you still untying us? No, we're good. We're good okay. to go. Take me to Cinderella Castle. <laughs> I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. You're good, you're good. You're good, you're good. Look at that. Cinderella Castle straight on right there. You gotta go nice and slow, no, no wake. No this wake. Boat, no wake? This is a no wake zone, yeah. all lived happily ever after <laughs> there it is that's the one wow what a shot i think we're parallel to main street usa right now Can i go straight yeah like if we went straight we'd be going right down main street usa <laughs> <laughs> little standout while we're boating. 
It does feel good. <laughs> now Nate is taking over the boat. Captain Morrow. Captain Morrow. Captain Morrow. <laughs> the Seven Seas Lagoon. I'm now I, Mr. I'm the real Mr. Morrow. <laughs> momentarily delayed because there's a ferry crossing in front of us. They have the right of way, but look at that. Look at all those people heading to Magic Kingdom. And we're just driving by. Someday I can go the distance. <laughs> All right, Captain Sean, take us home. Bring us in. Bring it as nice and safely. Yep. Our Lady Jill. Don't crash, though. We gotta go right there. She's waiting for us. Well, that was a lot of fun. I like to go out boating all the time, especially here uh, on like, you know, Bay Lake. It's so nice. There's so many things that you get to go see. And it was cool to see Haley and her friend Taylor. So nice to invite them along. The boat is up to 10 people and it was just me and Sean. So. Might as well invite other people to have fun. And now, time to eat. It's time to cook out. We're gonna have ourselves a little Grand Floridian cookout. Maybe we'll make this a tradition. When you wanna start grilling, you actually go into the front desk area and they have a little bit of everything for you to actually, you know, you're grilling utensils. And uh, all you have to do is give them your room number and then return them clean when you're done. Look at that. Got a lighter, spatula, fork, all the utensils. Here's the grills. They look pretty good. They look good, yeah. Which one, you got two of them. This one looks better. So I think we'll do this one. And of course, we already have our groceries. And when it came to deciding what we wanted to eat, you know, I was thinking in my head, you know, you're at the Grand Floridian, one of Disney World's well, most well. luxurious restaurants. Got you. He wants a medium. Everyone's been asking for us to cook them a burger. It's been really awesome. Like all the cast members are like, hey, what are you guys cooking? But anyway, when we were trying to decide on what we were gonna eat, uh, we're at like the most luxurious Disney resort. And instead of going all fancy with some steaks, we decided to go with a good old hot dog and hamburger cookout. Here is our spread. We got some turkey dogs. We've got some chuck brisket burgers. We've got some watermelon, some kettle cooked chips, some ketchup, mustard, some all-purpose seasoning, and some Kona spiked island seltzers. This is everything you need. That's all we need. That's all, well, we should've got some baked beans. No baked beans. No baked beans? That's not classy enough? No, not classy enough. Not classy enough. <laughs> All right, Sean's gonna try lighting up the uh, the grills here. There are instructions. I think you might wanna stick it down here. Yeah, but why is it not? Once grill is there? lit, turn knob. Yep, right there, yep. it's lit. Once grill is lit, turn knob to high and preheat grill for five to seven minutes. Yep, to so put these all on high. We there they go. They all going? We're lit. It's all going. Yeah, it's all lit. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. All right, we did it. Yeah. You did it. Yes. Yes. Oh, and by the way, Jen and Lars is here. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I gotta season those burgers. All purpose. This stuff's there the good go. stuff. The good stuff. Oh yeah, get it. Oh yeah. Look yeah, at that. We gotta watch my finger. We got the trigger finger. Gonna roll those dogs. I like I like my I like my hot dogs burnt. I like them just like I like my steaks, Pittsburgh style, you know? Gonna just push those back there. That's the way. I don't think the burgers are ready. Not yet, not yet. Monorails and a cookout. Look at this. 
This is crazy. I love it. <laughs> like, hey, hey <laughs> Lars, <laughs> come on over. My reputation precedes me. Like, this guy knows what he's doing. It's 98 degrees out. We need someone to stand in front of the grill. <laughs> we'll, stand back, we'll stand back here and film. We've been on a right. boat all day. Here, you see. <laughs> it is so hot out, though. Like, if we're grilling right now. <laughs> Lars is the pit master here. <laughs> he's, what can like, I say? he's like, hey, you guys got butter to grill the buns? Yeah, you gotta, yeah, if you're gonna have, if you're gonna grill the buns, you, you gotta, gotta grill the buns, on. yeah. This guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> As the dogs and the burgers are cooking, we've got some chips, some watermelon, some Kona spiked island seltzers just hanging out. While the food is cooking up, me and Sean are gonna play a little one on one, you know, a little basketball court right next to the grills here. Are they ready? Those burgers are ready. Uh, hold on, hold on now. We gotta crank the heat down. I got a nice quarter turn on them. Ooh. Oh, where's the grill marks? There's some grill marks. Oh, that was not bad, not bad. I gotta get this one out. Nice. All right, you gotta put those hot dogs on the top. They gotta go up top there. All right, we gotta put these hot dogs on the top shelf here. I'm gonna flop them up here. We want them nice and they got to plump up here. Whoop! I'm dropping my dogs. There we go. Double decker. Double decker hot dogs. Oh. <laughs> ah, there we go. How you doing? Thank you. You guys want a hot dog? Dinner. Are you sure? I mean, we're cooking up. Hey, look at it. Eh, eh, oh. <laughs> well, enjoy dinner. <laughs> we're also drinking these Kona Spiked Island Seltzers. This is a star fruit lime. Oh, monorail coming in. I'm blinded by the light. All right, let's get a hot dog here. Let's get a dog. Let's get a dog. I want this one right here. Ooh. There we go. Let me get the plates. Yeah, yeah. Take this dog right here, this bun right here. We're doing this all with a little fork here. There we go. Pit masters. That's the way. Ooh, it's very toasty and hot. Thank you. You guys want a hot dog? Oh, no, thanks. Hot dog, hamburger, anything? Oh, no, thanks. All right. Well, have fun. Nice meeting you, nice meeting you too. Enjoy your Labor Day. <laughs> Official dog taste. The dog, hey, 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 there we go. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh hot. Oh, hot. Good. Ooh, this is a toasty bun, but we're about to have one of these nice brisket burgers. Which one should I go for? This one? I'm feeling a connection to this one. Take the one in the back. That's the way. Look at the monorail coming in right now as you're. Preparing your burger. Wow. Isn't that cool? What a Labor Day. I've never had a Labor Day like this. <laughs> People that cook out in Florida, how do they do it? I don't know. It's so hot. It's September. It's so hot right now. And we shouldn't play basketball. Yeah, we shouldn't play basketball either. There were mistakes made today. We sat in the sun. Got a boom. Now we're eating some hot dogs. <laughs> all right enough of the cookout that was a lot of fun though seriously it was so cool just to be able to say you had a cookout at the grand floridian and even seeing the monorail just drive above us as we were flipping our hamburgers such a unique thing and i definitely want to do it more do it at different resorts if you guys haven't seen like when i cooked at wilderness lodge and the tree house and a couple of other places it's always a good time and uh, it is so hot out it is the hottest uh summer since like 1903 they said it's the hottest september not summer hottest september since 1903 i read or i heard on the radio and uh now we're going to the pool our friends actually have a private cabana so we're going to be hanging out by the pool with a private cabana going down the water slide and enjoying some more grand floridian time here at the Grand Floridian Pool, they have private cabanas that you can actually rent out. And it's really cool because it comes with snacks, 
desserts, fruits, drinks, and they come up and they serve you. And it's a nice place to actually retreat, so we're gonna be hanging out in one of them. Here is a look of everything that you get when you stay or you rent out one of the private cabanas. Comes with some snacks, it comes with the Lars, comes with, <laughs> comes with the Jen, and then Jen's dad. Look at that, it's really cool. And also you do get some fruit, you get a dessert plate, you get a hidden Mickey with the towels. Jen actually made these really custom, cool Grand Floridian cups, and also our cabanas and cocktails cups. I don't have mine though, I forgot it but they are very fancy. And then also you get water. You get, you know, water, soda, get a private little fridge there. It's really comfy. It's very nice. It has a TV and oh, it does. Has a TV, fan, everything. Wow. There is a lot to this. Very fancy, they do. To rent out a private cabana, it's around $250 depending on the season and you have it the whole entire day. The whole entire day, you can come and go as you like, you can order food, it does not include alcohol but you do have uh, an actual service where they actually go to the bar and bring stuff back and it's kind of cool, like especially if you have a big family because you have somewhere that you can just have your own you know, hideaway just for the whole entire day if you want to spend the day at the pool. And now I think we're going to go down the slides. We're going to go ride, uh, go down the water slides here at the Grand Floridian. I brought the GoPro, so you might hear a little change in audio. You know what I mean? Sometimes the audio changes over because it's a different camera, but uh, I do love me a water slide. It's hard for me to tell you guys what my favorite water slide at a Disney Resort pool is. But I do like this one, but I, I feel like there's a lot of better ones. I mean, I like how they have like the rock work here, but here's the water slide itself. Goes all the way up there and you actually fly down this. You go super fast. All right, here is the water slide. And look at the Grand Floridian over there. It's so nice. I like it a lot. We'll go down multiple times. We gotta wait for the green light. This time I think I'm gonna do it facing me so you guys can see, but I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared. All right, I'm flipping around. <laughs> I'm sideways! I'm backwards! I'm backwards! Help! I'm back again! I have no idea why I'm so afraid of going underneath this waterfall, especially since we're in water, but it is kind of scary. It, almost, it, it honestly makes me feel like I'm drowning, but I'm gonna show it for you guys. For you guys. I'll just swim right here. All right, green light to go. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> oh my lord! This is faster! Woo! We're coming in hot! Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, that was too good. <laughs> Look at this speed! Look at this speed! <laughs> Whoa! That's hysterical. All right, I think I am done with the pool for now. I'm actually whooped. I mean, this was a very big, big day today. We did so much. We went boating, we went cooking out, we played some b-ball, we ended up hanging out at the pool. That's a great day. Like, <laughs> I got a lot done today, and uh, now I think I'm just gonna head back and call it a night. Like, I am whooped. But I had so much fun, and the cabana was really cool. The cabana, actually, we did find out it was $2.99 plus tax, but there are discounts available for it, and I think that's so awesome. It's available all day, and uh, yeah, I think we're gonna head back. Something I want to point out to you guys before I start to make my way back up to my room I always judge resorts on how fancy their furniture is in the lobby I don't know why I just look at chairs and I'm like, whoa, well, that's very fancy and the couches look at that look in the bottom Look at the bottom on the couches there. That's very very fancy 
they have this thing right here. This is very cool. And then they have these chairs that kind of feel like someone's hugging you. I've actually seen a video where someone dressed up as like one of these chairs. And then when someone sat down, they came and grabbed them. So now I'm afraid to sit in them because that would be frightening. And I think they used to have an espresso ma machine over here and it's gone now. They must have another cutback or something. But I remember I used to get a uh, uh, espresso all the time. And with that, I think we are done here today. Honestly, like I said, I couldn't ask for a better day today. It was so much fun getting to hang out with some friends, do some pretty incredible things. You know what I mean? Like it's been a wonderful little staycation here at the Grand Floridian Villas. And thank you to the world of BBC. Uh, they sponsored this video. They gave me the points for it. And uh, like I said, check out all their links in the description. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I, only, I only do these sponsored videos uh, I only do things that I like agree with and that I can a hundred percent back and people ask me all the time for tips like coming to the Walt Disney World Resort and I always tell them first thing rent DVC points so I'm always backing things that I'm actually passionate about and I'm passionate about that world of DVC and the DVC retail store the rental store it's it's definitely a great idea so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.